Okay, this is the second time that I've done this intro because in my last few, the same mic problem that I had in the last episode of Kronk News uh, kept occurring. I tried to fix some things. I hope it sounds good now. If you're hearing this, then this is obviously <laughs> the correct way that it's supposed to be, the way that my mic is supposed to be set up. Anyway, enough of that baloney. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just want to get out of the way. A few of the things I said in the last video weren't actually completely true. Because of my lack of internet connection right now, I can only do the bare minimum research. So I'm very sorry about that. I addressed a lot of the issues in the pinned comment and I also edited out portions of the last video. Regarding all of that, I try not to give you guys false news or anything. I even talked to Sydney about it. He said that everything that I said was alright. He, he's not annoyed or anything. So if he's not annoyed, you guys better not be annoyed, alright? <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be talking about a lot of things I actually talked about in the most recent video, the one that I've uploaded before this, and, uh, except it actually has valid points this time, and a few new things. So, anyway, <laughs> let's just get right into the video. I'm editing this video now, and I just realised from uh, looking through Twitter that it's actually Sydney's birthday tomorrow, uh, at the time of me editing this, and, uh... I just want to say happy birthday, my dude. I, uh, I'm ever so thankful for the game that you've created. And more importantly, all the support that you've actually given me uh, during my time on YouTube. So I just, just want to get it out of the way. Thank you very much, Sydney, and happy birthday. I know you probably won't be watching this on your birthday, considering uh, you probably have better things to be doing than watching Crunker videos. But I love you, dude, and uh, <laughs> let's just continue back with the video. Now, this first piece of news is actually to do with FaZe Krunker, and more importantly, it's actually to do with a Twitter account that is associated with FaZe Krunker. If you actually look up the account, the first thing that pops out is official Krunker fan page for FaZe Clan. Now, this can change in two ways. You can either take this up that it's an official account done by FaZe Clan, and as a fan account for Krunker, rather than one for FaZe Krunker, if you get what I mean. Or you can just take it that it's a fan making this account. Now straight off the bat you think, alright, this account is definitely just a fan account. But, judging from its tweets, I want to say it's more of a bait fan account. It is following six people. One of them isn't even Krunker, and neither is it FaZe. So, <laughs> just, I don't know what that's about. And secondly, it isn't even followed by FaZe or anyone affiliated with FaZe. Now, the thing that really turns this into a controversial topic is the fact that its tweets are very, very strange, is the only way to put it. There are tweets that you'd expect from an actual FaZe affiliated account, but they're just not affiliated with FaZe. The one that got my attention the most is, should we pick up Eternity? Alright, now, if you don't know, Eternity is probably one of the best, or even maybe the best, OCE player in Krunker. And this just stuck out really strange to me. I was thinking, why on earth are they putting this out if they are a fan account? Like, it just makes no sense to me. And they're also putting out, we need a hashtag editor to make us some Krunker videos and montages of the boys. Right? So this account is, it's very, very confusing on what they're trying to do. I've been keeping up to them as much as possible, I even DM'd them after they put out this editorial position inquiry. And I basically just sent them my YouTube channel saying inquiring about the editorial position. To that, they just seen it and they haven't replied since. Another person that I know has also done the same thing as me uh, is Rufio. I asked him what's it about, he said the exact same thing happened to him, and I, I, do, I genuinely don't know. I just thought I'd update you guys on it that if you guys are following this account and you think it's actually real, more than likely it's not, I'm sorry. But yeah, I just uh, it's a weird thing, let me know what uh, your ideas of it are in the comments. I'm genuinely just confused and want to know more about this account. Don't even know who owns it yet. Uh, there's been a few theories that it's a dude called Fleck. Much more than that, I don't really know. But that's all for now, anyway, to do with this topic. Now, the main piece of Krunker News for today is the piece that you're all probably clicking on this video for is to do with the actual tick rate in Krunker. Alright, now this has been a massive discussion. This is what I was on about when I was saying that I edited out portions of the last video. I wasn't completely correct since then. I've done a lot of research into the topic. 
and I finally come to some conclusive evidence about how it's ran. Now, I actually found out about a lot of this previous to a Reddit post being put up by one of the moderators regarding this topic, but I said I'd cover it anyway, uh, just in case some of you guys are checking this video out that aren't coming from Reddit. Now, Sydney has talked about this in Crunker Bunker. All right, that is put on the Reddit page. This is the screenshot that I'm showing you now is an exact copy of what is on the Crunker page. And it's basically saying the server configs have not changed in over a year. Eight players max per game, five games per server, plus another 50 on custom games, which means 90 players on one shitty server. All right. Servers are 30 tick rate. Alright, confirm now. Servers are 30 tick rate. 10 send rate, which means we are running 90 players on a $5 server with a ton of input. He then goes on to say, surprise it has lasted this long, I'll do some optimizing and shit. This is especially a problem for when people host crazy maps with a ton of objects. He then goes on to say in another message, we have 600 servers, some are $10 and some are $5. This is very important information for anyone, majority for the competitive community, which I know is majority of my viewer base for these. Tick rate is extremely important, and I know for competitive players, like I said, they're very concerned about the tick rate. I just want to say before this video goes on any further, thank you for Wasabi, who is actually a massive uh, competitive player. He's probably one of the best players of EU. He helped me out a lot with these uh, screenshots and everything. So big ups to him. I'll leave his Twitter link in the description. Make sure to check it out. Give him uh, give him some support. Say he came from 47s, you know. <laughs> anyway, Sydney then goes on to basically say, gonna give out some big boy wrinkly brain servers to some people to host comps on. They will be 64 tick and dedicated to a single game with eight players. All right, now this is massive for the competitive community. Absolutely, extremely massive. Because competitive players, like I said, a lot of them thought there were eight tick servers and four tick custom servers. This is completely incorrect. Sydney said this himself, that not to listen to people who don't actually know how the game is ran. But basically, just be patient and the servers will be optimized for you guys. But at least we know now how the servers are ran, basically and what tick rate they're on. Now, for anyone that is outside of the typical NA, OCE, and Frankfurt servers, you'll be glad to know that uh, City is getting in contact with people to get a Moscow and Sao Paulo servers. All right, so that's Brazil and Russian servers. I hope you guys anywhere in that region are very excited about that because a lot of discussion to ping is very important in the game. I don't know if there's much more to say on this topic. If there is a larger inquiry into this, Make sure to tell me in the comments what you think of it, because if I can do any more research on this, tell me. I want to get all the answers for you guys as much as I can. That's why I make these videos inform the people. <laughs> so if there's anything else you want to know about servers, I can definitely find ways to find out about. Last piece of news today is actually a self-plug. Uh, <laughs> don't click off the video yet. I just want to get out of the way that I've changed my Twitter handle. It used to be YT40. It was defaulted out from Twitter. I don't know why I'm only getting around to change it now. So I have a new Twitter handle. Link will be in the description. It's 47's YT. So uh, make sure to follow that. Tell me, like some of my tweets, you know. I make some good quality tweets, all right? They're definitely not just absolute shit posts. Anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I'll be home soon. I hope we make some more varied content. I'm planning on getting out a, another tutorial video soon. I'm planning on getting out a few more prop hunt videos or prop hunt esque videos like I've made before. I think they're very funny and I genuinely love watching them myself. I, <laughs> I, they're a bit less PG compared to the rest of my stuff. I try to keep as PG as possible, but on those videos I just completely let loose and they're extremely funny in my opinion. So I'm definitely going to make more of them. And yeah, that's all for now. Uh, if there's any more big news, I'll make sure to make it my priority to put out another Crunker news. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's it for now. Good luck. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the road 